Jonathan here. Uh, not on my own truck here. Uh, I got Jordan, my son, in front of us. Street Drive 64. We're on our way up to uh, Greensboro, North Carolina. I think we got about uh, 60 miles, maybe. 70 miles, something like that. We're going up to uh, buy three trucks. I'm picking up three 2004 uh, C4500 uh, Duramax top kicks. And, uh, and we are going to, I don't know what we're going to do with them yet, but uh, they're old fleet trucks. And uh, two of them still got the boxes on them, and one's just the cabin chassis. And I'm driving the rollback. I figured I'd just put the cabin chassis on here. They're not that heavy. And uh, Jordan's going to take one up back for the record, and then I'll make another trip either tonight or in the morning to get the other one. All right, we're picked up. We got one more sitting over there. I got to come back and get with the small box on it. You can see it. And uh, Jordan's fixing to pull out with one of them. And then I've got one of them on here. There's one. There's one. And then uh, mine, which is right here. And of course, it won't fit on the bed all the way. So we got it part of the way off. Alright, let me get rolling. Alright, folks, I'm back up here in Greensboro to pick up the other one. It's the next morning. And uh, thankfully, it's still sitting here. This particular one here is supposed to have a bad harmonic balancer. It starts and runs. You can see the harmonic balancer wobble. Now, uh, when I buy something like this, I don't ever just go by that. It could be a uh, it could be a broke crankshaft or on it. It's hard to say, but this one's got a little damage on it. This, I think this is the only one with any damage on it or any major damage, but that really ain't major. But anyway. But these trucks was used for some kind of uh, gas tap mission, but some kind of cleaning service, fleet wash. I guess they wash, went around washing big trucks and stuff, but both of these trucks have got doors on the sides, both of them with the boxes. I'm not even sure what the doors are for. Well, this one don't want to open. I don't blame. No. But it's got a tank inside of it. This one's got some kind of a steel tank. It's got some pretty good tires. So, they're not real nice inside. The seat's pretty ripped up. But, uh, steering wheel shot. But it is what it is. Like I said, I just, I bought all three of them at a pretty good deal, so. We're bent back on this one. That wouldn't be a it wouldn't be a problem to bend, bend back. Anyway, we'll get it home and uh, maybe get it fired up and see what uh, see what that home line balancer looks like. There's some oil under there, but they, he said that came from a uh, transport truck the other day, so I mean, it's not out of this one. But uh, anyway, we're in the homemade record. Uh, the reason we call that the homemade record is because. I've got two red international records, so we can't call it the red record, can't call it the international record. This one's a little bigger than the other one, but we can't call it the big record because we got the Peterbilt. So we just call that the homemade record. Of course, because it's homemade, but uh, we'll get her hooked up and get her up the road. All right. Okay, folks, we're back with this one, and uh, this is the one with the older LB7 engine, uh, or the early engine. And the difference between these engines is this one has got the injectors under the valve cover where you can't get to them without removing the valve cover. Uh, the later ones you can take them out without removing it. So, so this is the older style. But uh, this is what I've got in my rollback I run. So, uh, you know, a lot of times they'll get updated and I don't know what the update is. A different style injector or something and that's what my other one has 
it's been done because I'm lucky enough I got a friend at GM so he checked the VIN numbers and uh, he could tell me what had been done to it. It had injector cups put in it at 80,000 and it had uh, new injectors at 177 and because of the date that they put the injectors in he let me know that they were uh, the updated injectors because GM had quit using the the other ones by that time so anyway so I mean it does good I like it uh, I don't have any issues with it. Now, like I said, this is the one that the home mic mounts are supposed to be bad on. And like I said before, I don't, uh, you know, you definitely don't want to believe stuff like that all the time. So what I've already found, I got ready to leave. I noticed laying right up there by the windshield wiper was this bolt and nut. And this is a home mic balancer bolt and nut. And somebody, I don't know if they've changed it or, you know, what the deal is. Uh, I haven't rushed down there to try to move anything yet. So they're going hard to get to. Man. Yeah, there's nothing by hand loose. But I've got a I've got a feeling that it's possibly way worse than what they say it is. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get in there and fire it up. I'm gonna leave this camera down here. And you'll be able to see how bad that thing is moving and wobbling. And uh, like I said, I don't. Uh, I kind of have a feeling that we've got more major issues than what uh, what we think we or what they thought we had. Which I always expect the worst. And, you know, hope for the best. So that's the way you do it. Let's bring the camera set up here. It's gonna be a little crooked, but maybe you'll be able to see it. Could be wrong, but I'm thinking that might be possibly even a broken crankshaft. It's not leaking oil. It's got real good oil pressure. So we'll have to get into that and see what we can figure out. But I think everything else on this truck's pretty complete. They haven't stripped any parts off. The tags are actually still good on it until uh, the second or third month of next year. So they uh, they was using this one pretty recent. So uh, anyway, let's go fire up another. Okay, this one is supposed to have a blowed head gasket or blown head gasket. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna match the hood here. Okay, there's been a few parts stripped off this one, as you can see. Uh, looks like the radiator's gone, the intercooler's here. Uh, let me see. The tank, which I've got. Uh, radiator I've got in the other truck. Uh, brake lines from there up. What it was is this one supposedly blew a head gasket and they parked it and then they, they just started grabbing parts and uh, there's a broken shock. But, uh, you know, that's, like I said, that's why I got the trucks cheap, is because these were the, sort of the leftovers. Leftover parts. I don't see much of any more missing on it. But we will go ahead and, this one, this one will fire right up. Like I said, it does, uh, Definitely need supposedly head gasket. It's pretty ragged inside too, but this one's got 180. Oh, let me see. This is the better engine too. And it has got, well, it was showing 180 something thousand. 
it ain't coming on now. There we go, 184,000. Oil pressure's all the way up. Which from what I've seen so far, these things are usually pretty daggone high on oil pressure. And uh, Runs really good. It's not a bad running truck. The eight ball. Though. So anyway, I think this one here may be okay. Batteries are good. I don't know how long it's been since it's been on the road. I didn't. Even, I didn't, didn't have a box on it, so I didn't have a license plate. And inspection was done in 16 January 2016. So it hadn't been a real long time ago but this would be one possibly we'll put back together and this uh, is I don't know it's either a 4500 with a heavier GBW or it's a or it's a 5500 because the axle is bigger the uh, run same size wheels lug pattern and the rear end is actually bigger it's actually a different rear end it don't have it don't have the rear cover like this one it's got the hogs head it comes in from the front so, well, this is a Dana 80, I think. That might be like a Rockwell or something. But this one's missing some parts, too. This is one Jordan towed in for me. And uh, and he's getting back on his channel, too. So make sure uh, I'll put a link in the description on, on his stuff. And he, I don't know if he's got any, done any video hauling this or not. But he's getting back to putting some on. But uh, like I said, I'll put a link in there. Street drives 64. And let me see, the dash has been taken apart. This is this one, of course, was parted like the other one. But the reason that this one was taken down, it's got a it, the engine grenaded, let's put it that way. Got the drive shaft. They had already pulled it, so it made it easy for us to tow it. But uh this would definitely be probably the parts truck. Which you know, I've got good titles with all three of them, so you never know. You know, with a heavier DVW, depending on what I'd Decided I needed. <clears throat> okay, someone's got the uh, brake booster and master cylinder off of this one, but it's laying in the back, or one of them's laying in the back. Could be a bad one. Uh, the brake lines are actually on this one that we need. Fuel filter's missing, which don't make any sense to me, but uh, steering gear box. Uh, ABS unit, the radiator is in it, and all the parts I need for the one in front of it. Uh, the fans on it, which I need for the other one. Uh, some of the plastic and stuff. I, like I said, I think I've, between the, the three, I've got enough I could actually put two together if I decide to. And this one was inspected in 2012, so this one's been off the road for quite a while. And there's some pretty good tires there. Actually, some really good tire. I can always use tire. And I don't worry as much about having a set of matching tires because uh, I run a lot more than, you know, what a lot of people run. If, you know, if I had a truck that did more sitting than running, you know, it might be a little different I, where I could have matching tires, but I wear them out so fast. But there's a tank in there. There's some inner fender wells, which I'm missing one for my truck, and I need one. There's one there, there's a couple over. There's a saddle tank, which I really need for my truck. It's a plastic saddle tank that looks like it may have been for a steam unit that was in here. I'm assuming that's what was in here. And uh, they had hoses run in it. I mean, it was a, and you can see a chimney pipe sticking up. So they had some kind of a steam unit. Now this is a, uh, let me see. I guess there's about 46, 47 gallons of, uh, it's actually cleaner. Uh, that purple reddish, or purple pink looking uh, engine degreaser or something in that. And a tank, just some old hose and such. And pretty good box, the door works good on it and everything. So, 
Boxes are always good for storage. This is probably 12 foot maybe. Might be 14. My understanding they had a pretty big fleet of trucks. So all right. Yeah, this one's got a frame tank on it, which is different. And it had a tank in the rear too, so there was two tanks on this one. So anyway, this, this engine here is toast. Uh, like I said, it's not the LB7, it's the one after that. I don't remember the numbers on it, but uh, good parts. Lots of good parts. And uh, there's a few little pieces I need for my rollback. Uh, I needed one of these. And these are made a little different than the, like the ones on the internationals and stuff. And they wanted $50 a piece for the set. And really all I needed was this one little plastic piece right here. So I've got that now. I needed uh, one corner light. I was going to put LEDs on it, but you know, I'm not going to spend the money on it. I'd already bought that quarter fender. That cost me $150. You know, that's the way that goes. But The mirrors, the covers are, well, this one's tight. Reflectors out, but you know, these are pretty darn expensive. So. It's nice to have parts for what you're driving, that's for sure. So, uh, anyway. Like I said, they're all 2004 model, all Duramax, all Allison's, and uh, if nothing else, like I said, they be really good parts trucks. Okay, we'll probably try to figure out what's wrong with this one here first, uh, that home light bouncer issue, see if it's a crankshaft or, or what it is, and then uh, we'll go from there. And the way the bolt's moving up and down too, it makes me wonder if the front of the crankshaft is not broke off. We'll figure it out as we go. And uh, I've got to, I'm not going to be working on this right now. I'm, I've got to get, get some other stuff done. I want to go ahead and get that four wheel drive back together, the front end back in it. So, uh, anyway, appreciate everybody watching and, uh, until next time. Bye.